Continuing from our yesterday's video tutorial, today we shall see how to validate our registration form. At present, we could leave all these fields empty and then hit register and it would be stored inside our MySQL database. Have a look once here. We don't have any empty fields. Now I'll just hit the register button and all these empty fields gets registered so we need to prevent this from happening so so let's make this username and password fields mandatory to point to these two fields i'll take ids to them i'll call it username and this one as pass p a s s now inside our jquery script in the very beginning i'll see if these two fields are empty i'll select username field dot its value i'll check if it's empty or the other field is the password field i have given it an id called pass i'll select it and its value if it is empty if the username or else the password is empty i'll display a custom message here that both these username and password fields are mandatory i'll display the message inside the div tag which has an id of ack if these two fields are empty or if any of these field is empty we'll just skip the posting of this data so if it is empty we'll display a message if these two fields are not empty then we will execute this the code inside the else part which is responsible for posting of the data to the process.php function and that is process.php file now if i leave it empty and hit register it will tell username password fields are mandatory please enter and it won't get entered into our database another error is we could give the same username and then register it gets registered let's look at here so we have two people with the same name that is same username we don't want this to happen so a simple thing would be to change the username and make it unique click on this u icon here that would make it a unique field now let's enter the duplicate data it must give us an error that is insertion failed but the user doesn't know that the username already exists so we need to tailor a message appropriate to the user so inside our process.php we shall extract the username from the database and see if it is if the user entered value is already present if it is present we shall display appropriate message to the user telling that the username already exists now select the username from users table where username is the one entered by the user which is stored inside username variable now using mysql fetch row we shall see 
if it has returned any row or not if row is zero that means the username is not present inside our database if it is greater than zero then we know that that username is already present in our database and we need to tell the user that that username has already been taken if it's not taken then just execute the rest of the code that is inserting the username and his details into the database and echo appropriate message that is insertion inserted successfully or failed so let's test it out on our browser i'll give the same username now it shouldn't give insertion failed it must say username already taken and it's working to customize it further we shall even show which username has been taken that is the username that the user entered will even show that in case the user might have already forgotten by the time the message appeared there so let's see username satish has already been taken this custom message looks fine now what if the javascript has been disabled on the browser if so we should code even for the conditions wherein javascript isn't available so in this case it redirects to process.php and the empty fields gets entered so to take care of such a situation we should do validation even at the server side that is in process.php file it's quite simple using if condition i'll check if the username is empty empty is a standard php function it returns true true if it's empty if either username or password is empty the code inside if statement executes that is i'll just say username and password fields are mandatory and to make sure it came from php file just for testing purpose i'll write iphone from php and then stop this script from further execution by writing exit so i'll remove this javascript file so now let's see it's empty once i hit register username and password are mandatory it came from php file and empty rows has not been entered so this is how we validate our form in jquery as well as php using jquery we validate the client side using php we validate at server level so i'll enter a new user username and hit register it gets inserted successfully and it is present in our database too so this is how we validate both in client as well as server hope this helps please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter etc also be subscribed to our blog technotip.com and to our youtube channel and please like this video on youtube